After boarding our flights from Portugal to Florida in our last episode, today we awaken a slice of paradise that little did we know would be gone too soon. I hold down the power button. There you Ooh. go. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Guys, did you hear that? Yeah. Here we go. Runway to the sand. We made it. I love how soft this sand is. It's the best. It is. Get in the water. Let's go. Oh, so much warmer. <laughs> I have to say. The main difference between the water here and the water in Portugal is that this feels like a bath. But there is something very refreshing about the cold oceans of Europe, you know. But this, there's no shock factor. So that means? <laughs> Welcome back to another episode, guys. We're here in Florida where it has been raining like cats and dogs. This is always the part of our story that gets a little bit complicated. Yes, we've been looking at properties in Portugal, and now because our 90-day Schengen visas are up, we have returned. So we can apply for our D7 residency visas and, well, hopefully return sooner than later and pursue the watermill, home, another property, <sighs> whatever we're supposed to pursue. Everything in its own time, right? And we have Drew here behind me. Tell him what you're tracking. We're tracking a very, very special package. That's right. It's our silver 100K subscriber YouTube award. We can see that it's on its way to us. It says it'll be here sometime between 2.30 and 4.30. Exciting. Yeah. Something else that's exciting is that we received our FBI background checks. Luckily, we are good standing citizens and there's been nothing on our record except for the one time Drew had to spend a night in jail because he rushed the Don't football tell field. Them, baby. You know, it's a fun story. It is a fun story. College days. But we have those in hand because that's one of the required papers for our D7 application. So we're making our way. Making progress. Keep in mind, we've been gathering the information and all the things needed over the last year. If you're thinking about doing it too, make sure you leave a lot of time to gather all the things necessary. But we did get another really fun package over there as well. We are upgrading our camera situation. So you guys are gonna have a whole new HD experience with us. You're gonna see our faces that much closer and a lot more crispy. Boy, come here. Come here. You're good boy. I think he's got a good life. He does. Lucky dog. Lucky dog. <laughs> look, look, Louie. It's a squirrel. You guys remember Louie. Look at his little tail. <laughs> Good boy, buddy. Good boy. So I didn't think we needed to film this, but then I started cutting the tape for it, and I was like, this is way too exciting. <laughs> when else do you get a box from YouTube? Whoa, oh, it's so shiny. Look at that. You can see yourself oh, in it. Cool. Babe. Wow. What's like a mirror? Here's our new lens. Love that sound. This is a very special event. Yes, it is. Wow. We are committed. It's not too heavy, right? No. It's like a little baby. It is like a little baby. <laughs> Except it doesn't stink. <laughs> Hello there. Hey. Hi, Pedro. How you doing? Good. It was great to read your message. I think you're going to like the news. He says that for sure they have 90% chance of finding water. How is the paperwork coming? Oh, my goodness. We got it everywhere. Changes and sticky notes. And we did have a really good call though. We did. Our lawyer is fantastic. We realized that we filled out an old application. 
at least we have a really homey place to be applying from. We're not moving in our van right now. There's a printer, there's Wi-Fi. Let's get this done. Trying to keep it organized. <laughs> They're doing a great job. Soon enough. Ooh, soon enough. I can see how this could be so overwhelming without the advice of a professional. I'm so grateful that we've been to Portugal a couple times already because it gave us a huge advantage for applying for the D7. From being on the ground at the bank, getting our NIF numbers, having a lease contract, and just a whole bunch of things that we need for this process. We're sitting in a good place right now. I just have to document this. Remember that palm tree that I showed you that got struck by lightning? Actually hadn't shown this to you guys yet, but luckily Drew's parents were out of town when it happened. Whoa. Instant replay. That's literally the palm tree in their backyard. Oh my god. Something's on fire! Luckily the fire trucks came to put out the fire, but when we returned from Portugal, we were the first ones back to the house and there was no Wi-Fi or televisions working because it basically blew out the power. Sort of a forecast of things to come. So we got the tree down now. You can see right here, this is where the lightning strike went through the tree all the way down to the ground. I mean, that is some serious damage. Oh, we got some mushrooms growing. Now we're gonna section it off, cut it into chunks, and get it out of here. That's right. On a scale of one to ten, how much do you like playing with your chainsaw? Oh, it's a nine and a half. Nine and a half, right? Yeah. <laughs> one of the best power tools around. Man, it's hot out here, guys. Good work. Ooh. That's good stuff. Yeah. Ooh. All we got left is the stump. It was such a beautiful palm tree, but back inside where I am still working on my D7 paperwork, the personal statement, which is basically our motivation letter telling the Portuguese consulate why we want to live there, it feels like one of the most important pieces of this whole application. That along with proof of financial means and knowing the fact that we actually have to get our papers notarized in the state where we are claiming residency. So for us as van lifers who are currently in Florida where we claim residency, but about to fly to Michigan to visit family and check up on the remote biz and then go back to our camper van in Salt Lake City, which we will then be living in who knows where. We just realized, thanks to our lawyer, that we have to go to the notary tomorrow before it's the weekend and before we fly away from this state. So whew, very grateful that we realized that before it was too late. Have you heard delivery pets or anything like that? Like, I know they ship like all kinds of animals. Um, hey, we, don't, we, we don't do pets, we'll do, you know, somebody will get a, Python. Yeah, on. really. All right, guys, have a good one. Hey, thank, thank you. you. That's quite the box. Yeah. Oh, that's just to hold it, hold it just, so it doesn't yeah. get hurt. It's quite the package. Inside of that box was the world's very first two-in-one portable air conditioner slash cooler, no ice needed, by Indwell. You can power up this 40 liter low energy consumption rapid controlled cooler via an AC power adapter, a DC cigarette lighter outlet, or a solar power generator. Once you've made it to your spot, you can pop up the two side wings, accommodating even more friends without interruption, should you need to grab something fresh out of the cooler again. And you can extend the top of the cooler, providing 126% more usable area. And if you're looking to beat the heat, because it's really hot out here, you just attach the duct just like this. This thing is wonderful. When it's hot like this, it's priceless to have air conditioning in a hot and humid environment. To experience one of Indwell's handy two-in-one innovations, click the link in our video description below. Now, back to the show. And back to the pool. Still recording. What are you doing? What are you doing? Two. Where's your ball? One, two. The cheese is a distraction, though, from the boredom. Oh. <laughs> Poor little 
little mouth. <laughs> Whoa, we gotta get out of here. Like usual, we're in a rush. We got places to be, people to see, documents to get signed. Vamanos. Today's the day where we are going to get three very essential documents notarized because yesterday we learned from our lawyer that we had to have our documents notarized in the state where we claim residency, which is here in Florida, where we leave in about three days. So it's about to be the weekend. Monday we have our flights to Michigan and we don't know when we're coming back to Florida. So we just had to make sure that we had, I believe, our lease agreement, the application form, and our passports, like a certified notarized copy of our passports so luckily we were able to get a last minute appointment and hopefully they don't need our passport photos because it's been like unexpectedly extremely tricky to try and find a place that takes photos at the European passport size just some of the little things and foreign complications that we're trying to work with your destination is right here Oh, yes. starting to do RV. Yeah, okay. Oh, RV. We yeah. lived in a, in a yeah, van. Yeah, in a camper van. Really? Eight and years. where do you live yeah. here? Uh, we we use my here. family's address. Our van right now is actually in Salt Lake City. So we returned from Portugal, flew to Miami, but then visited family. Our family ah, lives okay. here, so yeah, yeah. that's, okay, that's cool. residency in the U.S. And we have to have the things notarized where we claim residency. It's that's official. That's official. Now the stamp. Something I can secure it. No staples. Yeah. Okay, yep. nice staple. Perfect. That's what my question was. Yeah, just paper clip. It's hard to be blogger. It's hard to be on the So English. much work. My God. And yeah. <laughs> We're here at the notary. Do something for me. <laughs> yes, definitely. You want to say hello to the vlog? Hello. <laughs> She's wonderful. She's thank you. Thank you're you. You're originally from Ecuador? I am from yeah. Ecuador. And you were telling us some amazing places to live there and go vacation. And a yes. lot of retirees are moving there. Make sure to go to Cuenca. Cuenca. Cuenca is a special place for foreign people that wants to retire over there. That's right, wow. we wrote it down. Yeah, uh, also you can visit uh, Galapagos Island. Okay, One Galapagos. Day. Kelly also just got an RV recently and she's very inspired to get out on the road and find some adventures. Thank yeah. you, and I also wish the best for you in this new adventure. Thank you oh, so Thank you much. so much. <laughs> Ooh, it's a heavy one. That was great. We did it. High five. Now that we got that checked off the list, next up is our passport photos, which are a different size from US passport photos. So I figured out how to do it for free, but we had to use two apps. Hopefully I did it right. Do you have a ruler by chance? No, I don't have a ruler. No, you don't have a ruler? Okay. okay. Wait, is that 35 by 25? 35 by 45. Eh, 35, we can maybe say 40 at most. So it's like 30 by 35. That is not what we need. For some reason, this task ended up being way more complicated than necessary, but eventually we got it figured out. Come on. Oh, there he goes. Hi, Louie. Come on. Are we having fun filling out these papers? <laughs> D7 paperwork might challenge your marriage in some ways. <laughs> okay, so I was trying to think if there was anything about the application that surprised me or shocked me and made me laugh. Well, one thing that just really, I would have been stumped that that would be how we would be applying. We're basically applying in the same category as retirees, but more clearly, we are applying as people who can live. We receive a passive income based on our company dividend. So any money left over in the company gets distributed. And therefore, Brittany and myself as shareholders of this entity, this LLC, receive the dividends. The LLC meaning Mr. and Mrs. Adventure, because we are an LLC. It says applicant signature. Did you sign yours already? Nope. Anything that still has tasks to be done, we're marking with a sticky note. Sticky notes are king right now because it's hard to remember all the little things and we got to do everything right the first time. I'm glad we've been able to sprawl out. Can you imagine what this process would look like from the van? Oh my gosh, and we've needed to reprint our application like three times because you can't use whiteout. One thing that Drew and I wish we had documented is the fact that for three nights in a row, we ate Mexican food. Each friend that we went to go out with 
either wanted to go to Mexican or the other Indian place was closed and we could only go to Mexican. But we're not complaining because when we were in Europe, we were really missing Mexican food. But tonight we're going to get Thai and sushi with Drew's parents. We have a double date and that is another cuisine that Drew and I just can never have too much of. We had Thai food at our wedding. We did, so it always holds a special place in our hearts. It does, and our bellies. Also, have we showed you how good this looks up here? Amazing. But I will say, look at the house. I mean, it's insane the stuff going on here. Double lock. The older, big one, you know, but some of these were built back in 2008. Yeah. It's 55,000 people, and then maybe Faro. Oh my god, look at the boat! Wow. Very nice. How excited are you two? Oh, yes, this is good. Good stuff. It's always a treat to go with mom and dad to have sushi and Thai food. That's right, we love this place. Let's do this. Dig in. Right, Check out this. Look at that. Ooh. Look at all that extra ginger. You gotta put a little ginger on top, man. Well, I'm not the best at chopsticks, guys. Oh dear. You got it. <laughs> what do you got, buddy? What do you got? You wanna come in? No. No, no, we're not letting you. No. In. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> that next day, my dad and half brother drove over from the east coast of Florida to join us for a kayaking and supping adventure through the marinas and mangroves. It was such a beautiful day. <laughs> it was really odd and hard to watch this footage filmed before Hurricane Ian. And then knowing what I know now, I'm trying to edit it into an episode. But at least we can find comfort in the fact that in time, it will be made beautiful again. You gonna show them how you can jump off the board? It's like two feet deep. Woo! <laughs> Where's the closest uh, Home Depot? There's a Leroy Merlin in Portimao or in Faru. There's stores. There's also Ikea too. We got a bit of a storm coming in right now. Hopefully it stays out that way and we're gonna stay in the sunny direction this way. Oh, it's right here. There he is! I'm literally right on top of him. This is the one with wow. the propeller marks. We talked and explored and enjoyed the views of the marinas and the manatees and the mangroves. I'm so deep in the mangroves. We're not really sure what happened here. There's been no hurricanes this season, but all these boats seem to be pushed up in the mangroves. That's unusual. In a sunken boat? What? Hey, that's so cool. So dark back there. Whoa! You hear that? We're so Whoa! Close. We're like in between all the storms. We are. Somehow we're like in the sunny we're avoiding, middle. It's like a vortex. <laughs> we're in the eye of the storm. We're in the pocket yeah. of the the stormlessness. Vortex. But we're almost back. We're almost back. It's time to get off the water. Yeah, it is. It's storming everywhere except here. I know. And just like that, it was time to say goodbye to Fort Myers as we knew it not knowing that in less than two weeks, we would be driving the entire length of the country to help recover the pieces of our lives and the lives of our parents and the lives of others following the aftermath of the unimaginable storm that was brewing just below the surface. But before getting to that part of the story, we had one more state to visit and that state was Michigan. We'll see you there in the next one. Stay safe out there. You guys are the best.